The wheat costs $1,350. It seems like a lot of money to the layman, but it's one of those rare industries where you buy one item and it will last you your whole career. So this is the standard barrister's wig. This is worn by all barristers and all QCs in Victoria and every other state throughout Australia. Wigs are made of horse hair, uh, all horse hair. The lining on the inside is all nylon. People do perspire, they do get hot in the wigs, in their jackets and gowns and robes. It's quite a lot of items to wear. Primarily, we clean wigs for people. In some cases, we've picked up wigs that haven't been cleaned for five or maybe even 10 or 15 years. And I remember instances where I would pick up a, an old wig and I could feel creepy crawlies crawling up my arm because they're so heavily stained. Like anything, you just need to have your items dry clean every so often. The one that most people are curious about is this here. So this is called the full bottom wig. This is worn by QCs in Sydney and Brisbane uh, and only worn on special occasions. So we've never sold one of these in my 22 years in Victoria. It, we do have one wig that we introduced maybe about eight years ago that's actually um, a vegan wig. We don't make our wigs, we import our wigs. We have a supplier in Asia and also suppliers in Africa. Maybe every two or three months or so, we'll have a barrister who runs in here just requiring robes because they either forgot robes or they don't have robes, unprepared. There was one guy years ago who came in with uh, Ugg boots on and shorts. He ran into Ludlow's going, Richard, I need everything. Give me everything. And he's a QC at the bar today. He's come a very long way. So wigs were introduced in around the 1700s. At the time in London, some advocates dressed really well and some other advocates were dressed quite poorly. Introducing uh, wigs and a uniform dress leveled the playing field because if you had an advocate that was in a, say, an expensive outfit versus an advocate in a cheap outfit, the, there was some natural bias. So having a uniform just uh, made it a bit more destandardized. I joined Ludlow's when I was 19, so I've been here for 22 years now. Uh, I started out as a casual salesman. About a week later, the owners gave me the key and asked me to manage the place for them. In over my head, I had no idea what I was doing. They, it was simply make money for us. And as a salesman, I think I was naturally uh, a good fit for Ludlow's. Um, yeah, it's been, it's, been a, it's been a very good experience to date. We've made some really good friends, even mentors that have helped us develop. It's, it, it is an honour 